This is the IBM personal computer. It was the most advanced computing machine ever created. However, this isn't a story about a computer, but a story about when a computer stops working, and the man who created a way to start it all over. The man who invented Control-Alt-Delete. Let's get into it. Hi, I'm Dr. Dave Bradley, but you can call me Dr. Dave. Back in 1980, I worked on the IBM personal computer. My particular job on the IBM PC was writing the basic input-output system. Even with an elite team of engineers and designers, not everything goes smoothly when you're building a computer. We had programs that ran most of the time, but when they failed, the only way to reset the system was turn the power off, wait a while, turn the power back on, and it would go through a very long self-test. But the system might die every five to 10 minutes. What he needed was a way to shortcut the restart process. One of the things we discussed was putting a reset button on it. But if you put it on the system board, there's a chance that you could hit it by mistake and all your data gets lost. So what we did was came up with a three key sequence that would reset the computer and you couldn't hit by mistake. A single control key, a single alt key, and then all the way over at the right hand side, a single delete key. When you hit that control alt delete, you're deleting everything that you're working on right now and starting new. I was also able to skip over many of the tests so instead of taking a minute or two, it was 10 or 15 seconds. But it wasn't a big deal at the time. It was like number 17 on the list of 100 different things I had to fix. Even though it was built only as a development tool, programmers began incorporating the feature into their applications. From there, it was released into the wild, but didn't immediately reach pop culture status. For years, it was no big deal. And then at the 20th anniversary of the IBM PC, that's when Control Alt Elite became sort of a cultural icon. It was the simplest and easiest way to fix your problem. Hit Control Alt Delete, start all over. Despite all this, Dr. Dave doesn't think much of this contribution to computing history. I did lots of things with IBM, but all everybody remembers is Control-Alt-Delete. But I'll take that. The fame of Control-Alt-Delete means that I worked on a very successful product, and I'm very proud of having been able to do that.